All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now move to the other half of the tournament bracket for this welterweight contender tournament semifinal scheduled for three three-minute rounds. This man won his debut over Maximo Suarez at Glory 29 Copenhagen. Please welcome Harut Prigorian. Seven-year-old Harut Gregorian, not only was he successful in his glory debut, but he earned a highlight reel knockout of Maximo Suarez at Glory 29 Denmark. That impressive knockout is what got him into this tournament. He is known for his aggressive boxing. He has a high head guard, and he likes to come inside and throw combinations. He doesn't like to kick much, but you will see him use some straight knees. A Swiss veteran of nearly 70 professional fights. This man is determined to work his way back into title contention. Here comes Johan Kangolo. The Swiss striker, 28-year-old Johan Kongolo, 61 in seven with 45 career knockouts. He's coming off a very tough loss to glory welterweight champion Nikki Holskin, but he gave the champion all he could handle. Yeah, that is a loss for him in that, his career, but he said he gained a lot of confidence from that fight. He feels, hey, Nikki's number one in the division. If I can stay there and give him a fight like that, being so young in his career, he can only move up from there. So I'm sure he has a lot of confidence going into this fight after fighting Nikki. Congolo two and two in glory. He is the number two ranked welterweight in the division. And a spot in the welterweight contenders tournament final is what these two are looking for. Mertel Grunhardt has already moved on. Time to find out who he will be matched up against. Here are the numbers and the tail of the tape. The Armenian 27 year old Harut Gregorian is one year younger than Kongolo. And Gregorian possesses almost a three inch reach advantage. Both fighters weighed in at 168.5 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal once again scheduled for three three minute rounds. Fighting out of the black corner. Trained in kickbook boxing and Muay Thai. He comes in on a 10 fight win streak. His record 42 wins with nine losses, 31 big knockouts on his career record. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at 168 and one half pounds, 76.5 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Armenia, ladies and gentlemen, Harut Grigorian. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two-time Swiss national and European champion. His professional record, 61 wins with just seven losses, 45 of those wins by knockout. At five feet, 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Switzerland, here is Johan Kangolo. And here is your referee in charge, Stefano Valenti. Okay, please. To the center. Okay, white corner. To the center, please. Please. Okay. Touch. Remember. No elbows, no toes. During the clinch, use the knees, right? Touch if you want. Great, corner. Mouth, mouth, stay there. Fight! 
All right, welterweight tournament semifinal two underway. Harut Grigorian in the black gloves and Johan Kongolo in the white. This is one of my early predictions for fight of the night. Both of these guys are aggressive fighters who like to sit in the pocket and exchange combinations. Joseph, how key is it to try to get this fight over quickly and get back in that locker room and prepare for that second fight? Well, everyone has different approaches going into it. I feel if you're overly aggressive, you're losing out on who you are. I think it's just being yourself is the key to being in winning tournaments. Solid body blow delivered there by Gregorian. Congolo switching a southpaw. No holding, no holding. Congolo warned for a holding. Fighters in the clinch must engage with a knee or strike immediately or they will be separated. Knee from Congolo blocked by Gregorian. And now here comes Harut. He almost landed that left knee up the middle. Both of these guys are throwing good round punches and good knees up the middle. Both of these guys look like they want to get back into that locker room quickly. Congolo, body shot, follows it up with a combination. I like the power shots that Congolo's throwing from Southpaw. It's messing up the rhythm and the timing and the distance of Harut. Body shot from Gregorian. Congolo returns a favor. Both fighters exchanging in the middle of the glory ring. No feeling out process in this one. Both fighters just coming out and firing. Hey! No holding. Push kick from Harut Gregorian. And I think Congolo got a uppercut through the guard of Gregorian. Gregorian keeps his hands really planted on his head, which makes his body open a little bit. I'd like to see Congolo take that left hook to the body. Both fighters just standing and trading. It was actually Harut that threw the left hook to the body. When someone has a high guard defense like that, you got to get the guard up and start attacking the body. Approaching 30 seconds to go here in round number one. Congolo's finding that right hook. He needs to keep active and set that up a little bit more. Make sure he follows his left hook. Do it. Fight! You know Gregorian has that one punch power. Stop. Knockout of Stop. Suarez. No duels! No Instantly duels. put him on the glory map. May have earned him a spot in this tournament tonight. Stop. Furious action in that first round. Let's get to know our fighters a little bit more. Harut Gregorian, right there, known for his aggression and all out attacking style. That's exactly what he has done here in this first round. Do or die, it's either knock out or be knocked out. And his opponent, the Swiss striker, Johan Congolo. Holds titles in kickboxing, karate, Muay Thai. Also a professional boxer with a 2-0 record. Very active fighter and a power puncher. Seconds out. Come on, please. Seconds out. Seconds out. Come on, please. Mouth. Stay there. Stay there. Fight! Round number two underway. Congolo, white gloves, and Gregorian in the black gloves. Close first round. Who'd you give it to, Joseph? I think Congolo landed a little bit more of the damaging strike, so I'm going to give the 10 9 to Congolo in the first no round. Ding. I would like hey. to see Congolo use his low kick again. He, he's very effective when he's using it, especially that inside low kick. Both of these guys know how to end a fight. 76 combined knockouts. They both enter into this bout with a 74% knockout ratio. And they continue to go to work. Fight! What I saw from Congolo from his fight with Nikki that he was using a little bit more angles in his footwork. 
where Man. that's what I think he has to do with Haru, who comes really straight forward. He's get on some angles and land some punches. Okay, come on, fight! Referee Valente. Stop. Stop! Warning about you shots knees, to the you, back you of the head. Knees. Right? Fight! Congolo thrown 74 shots already. And hit on 11 of 12 kicks for a 92% ratio. Back. Stand back! Trying to get that jab to the guard. Both of these guys have to start attacking the body, whether it's a knee, kick, body punches, do something. Congolo throws that knee, Gregorian coming back, countering. Now he throws a knee. Low kick from Congolo. When you're playing in that head-to-head -head range, that's where the knee is most effective. Flying knee blocked by Gregorian. He pushes forward. Throwing, throwing knees in a tournament like this in the first fight is very dangerous. If you catch an elbow, your knee's swelling up in between rounds, in between fights. A lot of times, Joseph, you, you'll see fighters try to hold off on those low kicks too, correct? To save those shins. Yeah, as long as your timing's good, you should be okay. But knees, it's the reaction for fighters to bring their elbows in. And it's very easy to hit elbows. Neutral corner. Use the knees during the clinch, right? This is a warning. Fight! And again, Haruk Gregorian warned, you have to follow up out of the clinch with a knee immediately. Under 30 to go in round number two. Both these fighters throwing with wicked intentions. You gotta remember, Harut has a lot of experience. He's fought Grunhardt and as well as Andy Stop. Sauer. Stop! Fight! Congolo caught Gregorian just as that round was ending with a nice combination to the head. Yeah, that could have been the difference in that round. It was a very close round. I felt that this was a better round for Gregorian. Gregorian needs to keep pushing that pace, keep on him. Mike passes near from Mike's gym. His trademark throwing the water on his, the faces of his fighters. Johan Congolo, incredible 61 and seven record. And the man they call Rocky, Harut Gregorian, getting final instructions from Nikki Hammers. Remember, use the knees, okay? Fight! Third and final round. Moving on to the finals will be the winner, Harut Gregorian in the black gloves and Johan Kongolo in the white gloves. Comes to pick up exactly where they left off. That's exactly it. But I would like to see Congolo maybe use his jab a little bit in movement on the outside and then set up his inside combinations. But that low kick's been working really well. He needs to keep up with it. You gave the first round to Congolo. How about the second? With that end combination from Congolo, you could easily give that round to him. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if the referees gave that round to Gregorian. Congolo more active, throwing 149 strikes compared to Gregorian's 96. He just landed a nice right uppercut after that left hook. You got to get those punches and those knees in between those guards, in, in, in between the guard of Gregorian. Now hold him, Both of these fighters are looking to rebound from title fight losses to Nikki Holskin. Of course, the winner of this Glory Welterweight Tournament Contender Finals will meet the champion. I like how Congolo's hitting the body. He's gonna go body-body, then mix the body up, mix the punches up high. 
Gregorian looks like he's slowing down a little bit and those power punches from Congolo to the body may be taking their toll. Backing Gregorian up now. Good on Congolo for pushing the pace because it can be one round apiece. But Gregorian keeps moving forward, pressing the action. He has 31 career knockouts. Spinning back fist missed by Congo. One minute to go in this third and final round. You can tell Gregorian's tired. He just looks up at the clock. But if he wants to win this fight, he needs to just keep pushing forward. Forty-five seconds now. What a war between Gregorian and Congolo. You can tell that Congolo focuses a lot on his strength and conditioning. He seems to be in better shape coming into this fight. Oh, counter shot from Congolo. No quit in either of these men. Okay, come on. Fight. Whoever wins this fight is going to have a hard time in the next round. No, this is a war. Back at Glory 31 and an all-out stand-up war between Johan Kongolo and Haru Gregorian. Both of these guys stuck to their style as aggressive boxers and were able to go in and put on a, a war for each other. They sat in the pocket for all three rounds, exchanging punches and good knees up the middle. But it was round three that really went to Kongolo. Kongolo was able to find his punches and was able, in my opinion, to steal this fight. Let's see if the judges agree and find out who Murto Grunhart will meet in the finals. Glory World Series strike stats. Congolo connecting on 83% of his kicks. Very impressive number. Yeah, he was finding a lot of success with it. And that's what I kept calling for. And he did a really good job. And he mixed up a lot of good punches and knees with those kicks. Let's get the official decision from Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. 29-28, Congolo. 29-28, Gregorian. And 30-27. A split decision for your winner, who now advances to the tournament final. Yoan Congolo! A tough split decision victory for Yoan Congolo. He'll move on to the tournament finals. Who will face Mertel Grunhart. Both fighters in an interesting twist of fate. Train at Mike's gym. The two teammates will now meet in the finals.